four title defense. All right, um, let's look at this good status quick. Okay, so I've got three out of six performance of two promotions. So I don't know, like, the lady, the women, I've not finished the men's career mode though, but the women, this, it seems to be closing into the end. So, fight offer, let's see what we're getting. These women are tough, man. I'm definitely, I've not played the men since I started the women's. Um, work. We have a rematch with Juliana. Um, so for the men, I haven't um, completed the, their career mode yet, but I think I might finish the women's first. And I'm playing women on hard. So when I go back to the men, I have to change that difficulty as well to hard because it's more interesting and fun. Normal is not really like hard. Is like fucking. Imagine when you imagine, you know, the um, what's it called? Um, Legendary difficulty, man. Like, that would be mad. But, I mean, hard is okay for me, man. Alright, let's accept this fight. Six weeks. Alright, coming up next, it is our main event. A matchup for the UFC Women's Bantamweight title. Well, this is a belt that has changed hands quite a bit, and this number one Bantamweight contender believes it will again here tonight as she makes the walk for this title fight. She believes this title shot should have come earlier. She's not caught up in all that now, hasn't been during fight week. She's focused on the champion, and you see her staring her down right now. Crowd going crazy. She believes she is the best Bantamweight in the world and believes in a matter of moments here, she will be the new champion. Well, this belt has changed hands quite a bit, but not since it's been held down by this young woman, the reigning, defending, undisputed UFC Women's Bantamweight Champion of the World. She has really set the standard for excellence at 135 pounds. Tonight, though, facing a number one contender that comes in with a lot of momentum. So if she can defend the belt yet again here tonight, it would really go a long way in stamping her legacy as one of the greatest Bantamweight fighters and champions of all time. Our tale of the tape for this women's Bantamweight Championship fight. So more than 10 years apart, these two fighters, with some differences in height and a similar reach. All right, now for the particulars, here is Bruce Buffer. Ladies and gentlemen, this is the main event of the evening. When the action begins, our referee in charge of the octagon, Dan Mergliata. This is the moment UFC fans around the world have been waiting for. Live from the sold-out Bell Center in Montreal, Quebec, Canada! It's time! Five rounds for the undisputed UFC Bantamweight Championship of the world. Introducing first, fighting out of the blue corner. This woman is a jiu-jitsu fighter, only a professional record of 16 wins, 5 losses. She stands 5 feet 6 inches tall, weighing in at 135 pounds. Fighting out of Chicago, Illinois, presenting the challenger, Juliana, the Venezuelan, Vixen Pena. And now introducing the champion, fighting out of the red corner. This woman is a kickboxer, holding a professional record of 25 wins, two losses. She stands five feet nine inches tall, weighing in at 131 pounds. Fighting out of London, England, presenting the reigning, defending, undisputed UFC women's bantamweight champion of the world. Mystery! All right, 
This is for the UFC Championship. I want you to build my commands at all times, protect yourself at all times. I want a nice, clean, safe fight. Touch gloves, back to your corners, come out fight. The fighters touch him up. Uh, well, I fought her before, the wrestler. She is trying to have him say it again here tonight. She is unquestionably the number one 135-pound fighter in the world. She has successfully defended this belt in the past, and she believes here tonight she's on a different level than the number one contender. We'll see if she can prove it here and turn those words into action. She does want to take me down. One gets underway. Oh, now she's got the tie clinch. Good opportunity to do significant damage here. Stuffs that takedown attempt without issue. She just wants to take me down. Oh, stuffs the takedown without issue. Well, that left hand has been there for her tonight, not on that attack. Nice strike. She missed with that jab. Continues to mix it up, going to the head, mixing in some body shots. Can't take any of those, you gotta check. Oh, big knee! Oh, big knee. Oh, she is such a reverse striker that that big strike landed and it looks like she's going to finish this fight. Oh, straight right. Nice straight punch. Nice leg. Back and forth we go. All right, I know you want to take me down. Oh, big knee! Oh, she's got to me. What can we get up? Okay. Oh, Pena's in half goal. Oh, nice job by her to posture up there. Now we'll see if she can maintain that separation. She has to recognize that her opponent will start trying to swirl. Kenya's looking for that arm try. You have to be extremely careful with these girls, man. Oh, the likes wants to get you on the ground. <laughs> Boy, you're just gonna be you're just gonna be dead trying the whole fucking round. I'm blocking this fucking transition. Like I don't understand this fucking shit. Opponent is squirming, and this might be the beginning of the end. The ground and pound strikes continue to land at will. She's landing him over and over again. She needs to make sure that when she's chasing the finish, she doesn't get excited. All right, stamina, stamina. We need to be careful. Extremely careful. Panic setting in for her opponent as she continues to land with the ground and pound. She cannot deal with the pressure of the top fighter. She's so good at finding her. What the fuck is this fucking game? I told you. This transition, I'm fucking doing this shit. I'm going the direction, but it doesn't go. I don't give these girls any chance to go on the ground, mate. Go give her a chance on the ground. She's just gonna fuck you up. I mean, you're hoping for the referee to stand you up, but I don't understand. The referee doesn't. Doesn't do shit. Well, especially when you're on full guard. When you're on full guard, you know, you just get pounded in the head. <sighs> we can't go down, man. We can't go down to the floor. We can't. She slips that left hand there. Oh, the right hand is there for another clinch position. Big kick. So again, they will clinch here. Oh! Can't take pictures now. She has to react. She has to put chase to finish. Easy, so she easy. holds on to her spear, not doing too much, really just looking to recover. Now connects with a right. All right, she's landed some pretty good shots here tonight, but still DC unable to string any solid combinations. Here. I just don't believe she's confident in being in there. <laughs> Her best strike because you don't see this type of power normally in this weight class. But she lands and she lands. Bitch. Come on. Back to the feet. Oh. Vicious combo there. Well, she's up, but she looks hurt. 
Get out. Get out. I just want to get me down on the ground, man. Fucking. Fucking Joker. Just wants to get me to the ground, man. You fucking beat the shit out of us all on the ground. Get down. Whoa, get down. Ah, oh, anyway, guys, we have defended our title again, man. These so girls are hard, bro. Like, seriously, no man. Yeah, I hope you enjoyed the video, the man. I'll see you guys in the next one. Take it easy, guys, and peace. champion and who's gonna beat her i mean i don't know john it's gonna be very difficult for someone to put together a game plan to get the belt off of this woman she is a beast of a fighter and it's gonna take a giant effort to try to beat her